Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most effective but one of the most simple strategies there is in tennis. Okay, Rafael Nadal did this perfectly against Roger Federer, but the great news is, is that you can do it in your game too. Okay, now this strategy is called playing to your strengths and to your opponent's weaknesses. It's a simple but it is extremely effective. Okay, now my strength in my game is my forehand. Now typically, this isn't always the case, but typically your opponent's weakness is their backhand, okay? So if you're able to dictate the points with your forehand during points and find your opponent's weakness, which is their backhand, you're going to have a much stronger effort in winning that game. You may beat people that are supposedly better than you if you're able to play to your strengths and play to your opponent's weaknesses. Okay, now the thing that I'm going to talk to you about today is how to dominate the point with your forehand. Now, the way it's going to look is when I'm in this position here and I'm, I'm rallying, okay, my starting position actually does not want to be here in the middle of the court. If I am dictating the point, my starting position should be a little bit into the ad side because that gives my forehand more play into play there, okay? There's more options that I can hit with my forehand rather than feeling like I'm needing to run around more and use more of the forehand, I'm going to be more in control with my forehand during the point and it also hides my backhand a little bit more over there. Now, I know it's not always going to be easy to dictate the point or be in that controlling position, but once you've got your opponent in a tough spot or once you've got your opponent playing a little bit defensive, you should be shifting over there to use your strength, which for me is my forehand and that's what we're talking about in the video today. Alright guys, let's put into a point and see how it plays out. Here we go. Alrighty, so there you guys have it. That was the reason that Rafa was able to beat Roger. He was able to constantly attack that backhand, attack his weakness, use his strength, sitting that high ball, especially with Roger and the one-hander. He was hitting it very high, getting uncomfortable, getting a little bit awkward, and Rafa was really able to capitalize on that, and that's why he had that little spell where he was able to beat him. Interestingly enough, Roger actually changed his strategy, started to take the ball earlier and take the ball on the rise, try and shorten the points a little bit. He did all that because Rafa was able to find his weakness. This can work for you too. Give it a go on the court, see how it feels. Use your strength to attack the opponent's weakness. Enjoy.